Hi, it's Chris Heverline with Telemagnetic Sensors again, and we're going to do another module to the uh, XUW Vision Sensor software. And we're going to continue where we left off on the contour tool. So here we're looking at the main page, and we're going to again go into simulation mode. Uh, but this time, instead of the, using the, the loaded images, uh, we are going to load some images I took with uh, the camera. So uh, I can go into File and configure film strip and go right here uh, otherwise at the top of these icons there is a looks like a old film strip I can click that button and get to the same place and the film strip are just the images that we've got loaded here so we're gonna delete all the ones that are currently in the software I'm gonna click load and I'm going to um, put in a few uh, images that I took and I'm going to arrange them in a particular sequence and here we go and it's actually a Lego policeman and he's in a vertical position uh, we're going to use our contour detector and this is our working zone the yellow box so I want this whole area to search in and I'm, uh, I'm actually going to configure around his tie. So you notice here I've got his tie. And then down here in this corner, this is what's been learned. So it's everything inside that green box it's looking for as a contour. It's not just the tie. So uh, I'm going to click on my results tab again, as in the last module. And you can see on this frame, I've got a great score of 99.8 out of 100. As I cycle through, um, now I've got 99.4 as the angle of this uh, Lego man uh, turns a little bit. It turns once more to like a 90 degree, and um, now my, my box is red, meaning my output is no longer on, and I cycle back to my, my first position. Um, so one of the things I can do with contour is I can actually change my angle that I'm searching for. So I'm going to change my angle to minus 180 to plus 180. So the the learned image of the policeman's tie, I'm going to look in in a 360 degree direction. I'll click on my results tab once again and I will cycle through where I got 99 out of 100. I got 99 out of 100. I turn it one more time and I got 93.8 out of 100. So it can find his tie in all throughout this, uh, these images. I'm going to add one more detector. Um, it'll be a contour detector. And I'm going to focus in. I'm going to make a nice wide search box, which is the yellow box. The green box, I'm actually going to focus in on his pants. And you notice there's a bright white light uh, aligned through his pants, and that's just some glare. And one of the things that we can do with the contour tool, and again, I'm going to quickly make my search area for 180, minus 180 to plus 180. But uh, with the, the pants, there's, there's a little button called Edit Contour. If I click on that, I can zoom in, and I can actually erase that bright line or mask it so that as I'm looking for this particular learned image of a contour um, if the lighting changes in my 360 degrees um, I'm gonna I'm gonna ignore that particular area of what I've learned so once again I'm gonna hit my result results tab I'm gonna cycle through um, I can find my pants and the lighting did change turn it again it can find it I got a score of 73 so I've got all passing grades here um, also in this results statistics area I've actually can see my angle so at this particular area I've got a it's basically at a zero position if I cycle it uh, at this position I'm at a 20 degree angle at this position I'm almost at a 90 degree angle so lots of different capabilities with the contour tool Again, thanks for your time and hope this was a help for you. Thank you.